So Meta just announced the launch of their AI Studio, which is essentially very similar to OpenAI's GPT Store, but with a few really cool features that are different than GPT Store that I'm going to point out. All right, let's check it out. So essentially, AI Studio is very close to or very similar to Chat, uh, OpenAI's GPT Store, but with a few things that are very, very different and they're actually really, really cool. First of all, to access the Meta Studio, you can actually use your Instagram account. So if you just go to aistudio.instagram.com, you'll be able to come right here and you can see on top left hand corner here it says Meta AI Studio. You can create an AI, you can discover. So this is what we're going to talk about here real quickly. But anyways, you can do to access the AI Studio, you need to be able to log in with your Instagram account or with your Facebook Messenger or with WhatsApp. But obviously, if you're using the browser, you can use your Instagram account, which I already did. Okay, so I've already logged in. So this is basically the initial user interface when you log in. Um, very similar to the GPT store where you can search for, they call it AI characters. But again, technically there are GPTs too that are created by different users. So as you can see in the front page, you can see that there's the popular AI characters. Again, very similar to what uh, GPT does. You know, they have their most popular uh, or trending and featured GPTs that are used on top here. So that's exactly what AI Studio is uh, doing as well. So they have their popular AI characters. Again, they're referring to the GPTs as AI characters. Um, but but you can come in the bottom and just kind of scroll down and see that there's different topics. So similar to what GPT has uh, writing, lifestyle, or whatever it may be, they have kind of different topics that you have these AI characters that the users have already built. So for example, there's one that just vent, there's sharpen your skills, or you can even actually search here. So for example, let's say if I want to search for lifestyle uh, characters, then I can just type in lifestyle here. And you can see all of this will show up in the drop down menu. So for example, let's say this one will o wisp uh, nurturing body and soul one trip and drop at a time, uh, Lux Travelista, wisdom guide. So let's say for example, we can click on this one, right? So now similar to a GPT, you can essentially have a conversation with this AI character um, that will provide you whatever you're looking for. And again, very similar to the GP GPT store, they provide you suggested prompts as well so that we can get started. So for example, let's go ahead and click on this one. What's the most challenging decision you've ever made, right? So here's one thing I want to point out that's very different compared to OpenAI's GPT store. So it's very conversational, right? So for example, it talks about, um, you know, the most challenging decision I've ever made. And then at the end, it says, what about you? What's the most challenging decision you've made? So it's kind of trying to make it more of a character rather than just you trying to ask it questions and it asking a follow up question about the particular prompt you did. But it's more of kind of a character, truly a character where it's trying to have a conversation with you. So you can have that conversation with it. So that's one thing that's very different that I've noticed compared to the GPT store. And then another thing is like, if you go to a different one, uh, I, I tried another one earlier and what it does is actually um, provides a resource of what it's getting the answer from. So that's also a big difference between GPT store and what these AI characters are. And again, it's not all AI characters. I think some AI characters, when you have a conversation with it and you ask him a follow up a question, then it will provide you a resource, a link to the resource that it got, whatever answer it's providing you. So that's a big difference too. And then another huge difference, obviously, is that um, AI Studio or these AI characters and topics, these are completely free, right? So you only have to log in with your Instagram account or with your Meta account and you can have access to this versus the GPT store where you have to be a paid member of ChatGPT4 in order for you to be able to have access to the GPT store. So that's obviously a huge difference. So yeah, and then another big difference is uh, if you, you can actually create your own AI character as well. So for example, in their announcement, they actually, so if you have a, if you have time, uh, I'll put the link to just in the description. You can take a look at this because they provide a good summary of what these new AI characters that you can build yourself can do. So essentially the biggest release for Instagram users is now if you are a creator, you can actually create an AI characters of yourself and kind of have it on autopilot, right? So meaning, so for example, right here, uh, this is a good example of what it does. So it says reach your audience and save time. So as a creator, you can create an AI as an extension of your Instagram profile to connect with more of your audience. And the uh, good thing is you have the ability to actually make it mimic your own voice and your own talking style. So just like you're interacting with your own fans 
or if people are DMing you, um, you can actually design or train this AI model to be able to talk just like you and respond just like you. Obviously, it has its limitation, but that's kind of like a cool part of this creating an AI because you're creating an extension of yourself for your own Instagram account or obviously for your Facebook account as well in the future. Uh, so again, another thing is you, you have the ability to actually train, as you can see right here, you can choose the content um, your AI is trained on, including your Instagram, your thread contents, facts about you, uh, reels, posts, whatever it may be. And you also have the ability to um, choose the topics that you want to avoid. So it's very customizable when it comes to creating this AI character because they want to make sure that it truly mimics you, right? And then obviously there's these other AI characters that we just looked at right here where um, you know, like if you're talking to it, it'll it'll respond just like a GPT would, just like a conversation, you're having a conversation. All right, so this is what I was talking about earlier. So here's the, here's the AI character called Hanzo. So it says, listen, learn, create, love, feel. So this is um, another AI character that's created by a user named Sir Marvelous. Um, so let's go ahead and have this conversation because this is what I wanna point out that's very different to GPT because let's say if we say, what's the most interesting you have learned recently? So now it's gonna search and provide an answer. But on top of that, as you can see right here, so it's saying that I've been exploring the vast expanse of knowledge. I've been fascinated by the recent discovery of a 3,400 year old lost golden city near modern day Egypt, okay? So now, as you can see, you can actually click on view resources or view sources. And if you click on the view sources, it will show you exactly where it got this information from. And again, this is a link to this article that apparently you try to uh, provide this information. So that's very different and very cool to be honest, because then sometimes with GPTs, when you're interact with thing, interacting with it, you want to kind of find out more details of where it got the response to make sure and you double check that the response is accurate. In GPT, you unfortunately can't do that. But in this, it looks like it's providing you that resource so that way you can further explore and find more details so that's really cool another cool thing is that you can actually click on when you're having this conversation or with these ai characters you can actually see who exactly made it if you come to the top right hand corner here you can actually click on the creator and it'll take you directly to their instagram account so this uh, sir marvelous 77 who created that ai character you have access or you can see their uh, their Instagram account as well. So it's kind of like a direct and more intimate relationship with this AI car um, character. So if you wanted to have any kind of back and forth with the person who created it, you can obviously DM them or add them on Instagram as a friend request. So that's a huge difference. But anyways, yeah. So again, Meta has been... Meta has been going crazy with uh, releasing really cool products recently. Uh, they actually have another two really cool products that we recently released uh, with uh, static character animations and then also video segmenting that I'm going to cover in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.